Hello, welcome back to my video, and this is the continuation of the previous video on how to brace the missing values using with imputation method in Stata part one. So this is part two. So part one, the last thing that we did is carrying replacing the missing values with imputation method, and we. We saw that how we imputed the missing values for the five variables. Now, as I said in the previous video, that the the number of imputations here, eighteen. This is a pilot, a pilot imputations. But we need to maybe identify the actual, the actual imputation to use in your in your study. Because if you might use two row or you might use high imputations. And it, it might cause a problem in your analysis, eh? maybe in the standard error. Now, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to how to how many mutations to use, how many uh, to, how to come up with the appropriate mutation to use in your in your study. Welcome. So now, yeah, this was the last uh, thing that we did. Now, I want to predict. Using now, since I have imputed the data, so the next thing I want to carry out the logistic regression method and have the estimates. Since now I have imputed the missing values and everything is now we have everything at place. So I have to execute this. Let me execute this. So we have to execute this. So we'll be having a logistic regression model. Then after which we uh, will be having estimates stored in our, in our uh, software. Then now I will be able to use this command. This this command. Eh? This command. How many mutation? It comes with a, a package by the name. How many mutation that you need to install? After now this one will be only executed. After you have uh, executed uh, this logistic uh, regression with uh, estimates, now what this one does, eh? like for instance, if we come back here, we will be having a logistic regression model here, and we will be having our standard errors. Now, for you to do know, maybe you have used uh, appropriate um, imputation system, eh? the the standard error. A cream eh? that the this a cream that the it is here. Maybe I can share with you. This is what I want us to discuss. Eh? This this cream. Eh? The cream is that eh? the standard error estimates could be typically change by less than five percent if the data were imputed again with the same number of mutations. Is that true? Not in our case, the standard error is the same because okay, let us leave that. Now that's the thing I want us to prove here. So immediately, I just execute this. I just execute how many invitations. So this comes with a package by the name of many invitation. I just execute that. Good, perfect. So you see, immediately I execute the how many invitation, um, how many invitation uh, command using this uh, command. I will be able to have some output fraction of missing value information 95% confidence interval. You can see there imputations in pilot. So you can see in pilot I used 18. Eh? This is what is in my pilot. Now imputation needed. So we have 21. So imputation to add, we have three. So it means for the for us to have um. Appropriate uh, to, for us to have a standard error uh, on our bitted data that has that is less than five percent. It means now we have to rerun the imputation method, but in this case we are going to use twenty one. So twenty one is the actual imputations in our study. So this is how you can come up with uh, appropriate imputations in your study without guessing, doing guesswork. Good. So it means. Now I go back. I will run the imputation. I will run the imputation method, and now this time I use twenty one. 
as my uh, invitation so this is the actual invitation now the the initial one the 18 was the pilot eh? invitation so i have to execute that there eh? good so we have to now the thing here is that the claim the claim is that the, the standard error estimate would basically change by less than uh, five percent so we are, we are going to prove this uh, in just a few oh, seconds in just a few seconds i'm going to yeah it's still um, performing the invitation Good. So we have the invitation. So as you can see, the same same the number of invitation does in, uh, does not change. So we have forty one, five hundred, four nine six, uh, the initial one, forty two. It's the same same. So we have the number of invitations. But what changes here is that uh, the invitations now has added up to thirty nine. But you can see the initial one, the invitations were eighteen. Eh? and now the added one was 21 so we added 21 to the pilot one which was 18 now we have 39 invitations there then uh, now what we need to prove here is uh, is this eh? so we go back to this and immediately so i love to uh, to run now the uh, the logistic regression again with the imputed data that has the actual maybe the, the appropriate imputations so we have to run again this um, logistic regression model with estimates just a few seconds we have the output <coughs> yes good so this is it now this is the 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 the, the, the output for logistic regression and now uh, in this case we used we added 21 eh? the the invitation now is yes, 39 now what's being done here is um is this eh? so we want to compare the initial standard error maybe let us take an example in this case we use x1 eh? the initial standard error to four this uh, four significant figures is a uh, 4990 4 and now the the one that is based on the actual invitations the one the first one was uh, this one is based on a uh, by road invitation the standard error is that one and now the the new one with the actual invitation here the you can see the standard error is uh, 0.5373 now if i we do some uh, calculations here so before invitation uh -huh, so before now justification of the gram above now before invitation the the standard error for x1 was 0 0.4990 after invitation before invitation now using the pilot eh? uh, can put in pilot uh -huh. it was that one so after invitation we have 0 0.5373 now if we do uh, we we do a difference the division uh, the, the the difference between the two after and the before will be having point uh, zero three uh, eight three and if we add the two we'll be having one point zero three uh, six three so if we do some um, uh, percentage here now if we do some percentage here the the difference divided by the, the addition times multiplied by 100 now we'll be having 3.7 percent and now this 3.7 percent justify this claim above here that the claim is that the standard error estimates could typically change by less than 
five percent so since this is 3.7 percent and it's less than five percent so then now it means our mutation that we have used is the appropriate one now but if we add something like six eight percent nine percent then you will uh, maybe repeat your imputation method and come up with the appropriate one so you can see the references here i have used uh, some references if you want to to advance in this and uh, in this uh, in this imputation method or if you want to run something new you can also refer to these uh, references yeah that's it uh, if you are new please to this um, channel kindly remember to subscribe share and uh, uh, hit the notification bell for more videos eh, in the future thank you see you